Now we're going to take a look at the outside of the house. If you remember, we were just inside looking at the kitchen. Uh, we saw the potential pests that can be inside the kitchen. Now we're going to talk about how do they get inside the house. Well, they normally come in from the outside of the house. Um, this particular house is nice and clean. You can see we've got four to five inches of clearance from the soil line up to the bricks. Uh, we like to see that. If that soil line gets up too high, it makes it much easier for pests to get in. Actually, termites can enter that way as well. So you want your house nice and clean. You don't want a lot of vegetation right up next to the house, uh, especially on the outside. Weep holes are a special concern. We see ants trailing in. Uh, roaches can enter that way. We've got a couple of products we use to stop insects from coming in. You can't just seal that up with caulk. Uh, you need to have air circulation moving in and out of the wall. Uh, so we've got some bronze wool that we can put in those weep holes. We also have some very tough uh, steel impregnated material that will go in these weep holes and stop insects from being able to enter that way. As you can see, this product just goes into the weep hole. It's put in there very tight so that insects cannot get around it, but it still is loose enough to allow air to travel in and out of that wall so that it can breathe so you don't end up with mold problems on the inside of the wall. Here at the air conditioner is another place where there's problems where these lines enter and we'll show you in just a second where these lines enter the house. A lot of times there's openings that allow rodents, rats, mice, uh, and even insects to crawl into the house. Let's take a closer look. And here we're looking where the air conditioning lines go into the house. This one is actually sealed up very good. Uh, there's no places for rats or mice to enter around these lines. Uh, a lot of times there'll be a shield and there'll be nothing there preventing the entry of rodents uh, around the air conditioning lines. This one actually happens to be very tight and very good. Now we're going to take a look at another part, another area on the outside of the house where insects can enter, and that's going to be around windows, around doors, and around wherever plumbing might enter the house. Uh, if you've got a gas meter that enters, uh, a lot of times there'll be a little gap where that pipe goes through the brick on the outside of the home. Uh, any of those tiny little openings will allow insects to enter the home. Uh, we do have ways to treat that. At Envirocon, we have some specialized dust that we can use. It is another insecticide, but it lasts a long time. As insects crawl through that crack and get into that dust, uh, it will control populations by killing any that do. Let's take a look and see how we control insects that are entering these small little cracks and crevices around the outside of the house. Uh, as you'll see, we put this dust in. You can barely see the dust. That You don't use a lot. You don't make a cloud as we put it in. Uh, it's very light. We don't want to repel them. Uh, the, the bugs, we want them to be able to walk through it and get into it. Our low-tech powder delivery is a perfect system. It is not high-tech, but it lasts forever and ever. Learn more about Envirocon Pest Control Services, visit us at EnviroconPest.com.